we're watching gold today. It's getting hit from all sides. The precious metal extending losses as investors seek the dollar and yen as havens instead of gold. We're joined by Paul Nolte from Kingsview Asset, Kingsview Asset Management. He's at the CME in Chicago. Paul, it has really been not just recently, but over, say, the past year, it's been unusual for gold. Even at times when we have had risk-off sentiment elsewhere in the markets, we haven't seen people going into gold. What has changed? You know, I think it's it's a realization that, you know, gold is is no longer that safe haven currency. It's a lot easier to get in and out of treasuries, the U.S. dollar uh, and even some of the other foreign currencies like the Japanese yen. It's a broader, deeper market than gold might be. Uh, and gold has really been an anti-dollar trade. The dollar has been fairly strong uh, over the last year, year and a half, and, and gold has generally been a little bit weaker. We're not seeing the inflationary pressures globally. So again, it's been tougher for investors to put money into gold to pull out fairly quickly. It's easier to do through the treasury or dollar market. So do you expect that trend to continue then? Do you think so? They bring up a great point here where this trend, if it continues, is not good for cryptocurrency. And the reason why it's not good for cryptocurrency is that commodities like gold are supposed to be similar to crypto. And if people feel more comfortable holding government dollars like the yen or the U.S. dollar, uh, long term, that's not good for crypto. Um, but at the same time, like I said, there's other countries that have weak currencies, so they could try obviously to hold their money in the US dollar um, but some still might prefer crypto um, but long term like I said you got to watch this out this trend and if precious metals stay weak and the dollar stays strong I see crypto being very very flat and uh, I do feel like if you are looking for crypto to grow and become strong into another bull market uh, we probably do need to see the dollar uh, start to devalue a little bit, which it hasn't in the last year. But let me know your thoughts on this. And uh, if you have a chance, please subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you soon.